what's going on guys so video uh, I'm gonna start back making a few videos because um, as you guys can see I got a couple of items right now what it is is if you've been a viewer of the channel I had owned uh, um, I started my first few videos on the win 600 on the Ambernick made a few videos video um, the device ended up got hot swap with the SSD and end up frying something on it which I still have the device but I don't have it you know usable so it sits over to the side um, end up buying the steam deck out there and as soon as I bought the steam deck you know I um, instantly bought an SSD for it and put it windows on it and I don't regret putting windows on it at all I, I you know, grew up with Windows. Most people grew up with Windows. It's easy to deal with Windows. Yeah, you got to deal with some headaches of Windows, especially because it's not a Windows system. But you know, it's easy to deal with Windows. So, but um, as having the system for over a year on Windows, there are some games that just does not run at all well because of the portrait landscape and other issues, Steam OS drivers and stuff like that. That yes, I think I need to you know, put SteamOS back on it. Well, this is my old SteamOS SD card right here. It was good. I don't want to go back and re-put this one back in because it's just a 64 gigabyte. I mean, yeah, I could put it in, take the uh, Windows out, and it, it plays perfectly fine. I, have, I mean, I've done it uh, about a couple weeks ago. Um, but yeah, I don't want to keep opening it up, switching them out. They'll torque, torque, ugh. Yeah, I'll mess up the screws basically, I'm trying to say. On the back of the system, and um, yeah, I don't want to keep doing that. So instead of putting the 64 in, I decided to go ahead and get a two terabyte, uh, two terabyte SSD that I have right here that I am gonna, I guess, do. Um, but uh, what I'm gonna do differently from everybody else that has, because I can't find nobody else that's done it, I'm gonna do a boot and try to keep my window side for the most part with the most of the memory and just have a little bit of memory for the SteamOS side so I can be able to run the games that I can't run. So, what, that's what I plan on doing. As you can see, here's my two terabyte SSD. Um, got it before the holidays, thanks to Amazon. I mean, well, ain't thanks to the gift card I got from Verizon. Uh, not sponsored by Verizon at all, but if you're looking to get some good deals right now, especially before the holidays, go to Verizon. They give them, uh, they give you can get the internet if you can get the service. Get the internet you don't have to be plugged into the wall um, they give you a free xbox series x and they also give you a gift card for 200 dollars. that's the only reason why i was able to get this because i've been you know having this channel going i don't have the money for it like that to be my stuff i have to get it the way i get it so yeah but uh so thank goodness for amazon for that and then i end up getting the other stuff while i was at it so but anyway uh again i sponsored by verizon but i just want to let you know if you haven't seen the deal yeah, I think it's to the third. I would do it because I ain't no, I have bad credit. I still end up getting stuff. Sure, I even over rise money back in the day, so you know they, they still let me get. It, so, but anyway, I got two uh, USB drives. Steam OS gonna go on one, and uh, Windows gonna go on the other. I don't, uh, I don't know if I need to put the Windows side, like restart over and then copy, or just leave it and copy it. Uh, which I guess I'm either gonna make a couple videos or my live stream. I don't know. I hadn't deter determined that one yet. Um, if you guys want me to live stream it, I'll live stream it and make it easier for me. If you guys want me to make videos and try to edit and do stuff, then let me know. I bought a one terabyte SS uh, SD card so I can have for SteamOS, and then I bought an enclosure so I can be able to, like I said, copy the uh, current Windows and put it on this. I tried to use this in the dock, the, the Steam Deck dock that I just bought that has the M.2 in it. And for some reason, it still don't work. I bought a cheap one. I don't know if I should have bought just bought a JSO, but they said they had issues too. So I tried to do it this way, but I'm going to try to see if I can get the dock working as well on Steam OS side whenever I get a chance, and we'll go from there. But um, so yeah, we'll be back making videos. It's basically, I'm going to be making videos about the Steam Deck, and then I'll try to get some other videos here and there uh, back on the channel. Uh, but for now, yeah, this is what's going to happen this week. I'm going to try to get it worked on this week. If I don't get it worked on this week, it's going to be after the holidays, after the Christmas break. Hopefully, I can get it started soon. 
because I'm ready to play some of the games I can't play on my window side, like Sonic Frontiers and My Hero Academia. For some reason, my Steam Deck will not let it run on the window side. It works, it'll pop up, and then it stops. It freezes up. So hopefully they'll fix it, because I know the uh, Linux side from SteamOS, them games ran for, or, you know, they ran pretty well, so I never had the issue. So, but anyway, I hope you guys have a wonderful day. I'll see you guys in the next video. Be on the lookout for the Steam Deck uh, 2 terabyte installation of SteamOS and Windows Dual Boot. And we're going to try to see if we can find a way to keep everything and, you know, go from there. So, I'll see you guys when I see you guys. If I don't make a video before the holidays or before Christmas, y'all have a happy holidays and happy new year. If I do see you guys, hey, that's how I'll let you know. All right, peace.